In today's video, we're going to discuss about the very important concept of MSAT achieve chemistry named formula weight, or it is also named as molecular weight. So there are some basic calculations type question you can also expect on like example formula weight, empirical formula, percentage composition, calculating the mole for the given amount of uh, element, given amount of molecule. These are the basic stuff what you need to know. And today I'm starting with the one of those that is formula weight. And in the upcoming videos, I will be tried, I'll be trying to uploading the all relevant stuff like related to the what are other calculations involves. So let's start today with the, the concept name formula weight. So what actually the formula weight or molecular weight, it's basically the weight of all the atoms present in a molecule that is we need to add it. So as they are mentioning here, for any molecule, we calculate a formula weight by adding up the atomic weights of all the atoms in the molecule. So we just need to add the atomic weight up. So when we say atomic weight, you need to understand what actually it is. Generally, every element will be represented with its atomic weight and atomic mass. And of course, the periodic table will be given to us by referring to the periodic table we can calculate what will be the atomic weight or atomic mass of any element. For example, if I'm representing element X, it will be written as, I may write it as atomic weight here or atomic uh, number here, or it can also be written as element X, we can write it as atomic number here or atomic mass here. So here A is representing the atomic mass and it says atomic mass says how many, proton plus the neutron that element has. Atomic mass is basically the sum of proton plus neutron. So I can say and proton plus how many neutrons are there in the that atom. And Z is representing the atomic number. So atomic number says how many proton that element has. It's simply the number of protons that element has. And of course, if there are X number of protons, that much, there must be X number of electrons as well. So that is how we represent. For example, if I take any element, the most common example, we take it as an element of carbon. I can write it as carbon 12 here, 6 here, or it can also be written as carbon 6, 12. So it doesn't matter here. Uh, atomic weight, that is atomic mass of carbon here is going to be 12 and atomic number of carbon here is 6. Okay, that is how do we... Uh, recognize the atomic weight and atomic mass. So I'll make a one video based on what actually the atomic weight and how it will be calculated. Now let's for this time being, let's go with just make use of what has been given to us. Okay. And how the question will be asked based on it. You can see these are the common way of asking question based on the concept, what we are testing here. Question says, what is the formula weight of H2SO4? So what is H2SO4? What is, this is the molecular formula. What is its name? Sulfuric acid. H2SO4 is a sulfuric acid. Not necessary to remember the name, but we just need to make use of understanding how that molecule, one molecule of sulfuric acid has how many different types of element. So here we can have, there are three different types of element, hydrogen, sulfur, and oxygen. So how many hydrogens are there? You can see there are two hydrogen. There is one sulfur and the four oxygen elements or they combine all together makes like you know sulfuric acid so to calculate the formula weight i need to know first how many uh, atoms of the particular element is and then multiply with their atomic weight so in our case hydrogen has two so two element two atoms of hydrogen in that so two multiplied with what will be the atomic weight of hydrogen. For that one, we need to refer to the periodic table. As I mentioned, periodic table will be given to us. And you can see that in the periodic table, every element has been written with its atomic weight and atomic number. So for example, as I'm mentioning carbon six and 12, it's basically 12.01. So we round it always and we take it as a integer value usually. Okay. So if I'm talking about hydrogen in our case, Hydrogen has atomic weight of 1.008. So simply I take it as one. So two times one that gives me the total composition of hydrogen in this is going to be two. Let's take the sulfur. 
sulfur is only one. So sul only one atom of sulfur in it. So we'd say one times, what is the atomic weight of sulfur? Where is the sulfur here? You can see that the sulfur is here and you can see the atomic weight of sulfur here. It's gonna be 32.06. So let's take it as 32. As I mentioned, better to take with the integer value, 32 and oxygen. So how many element, atoms of oxygen are there in this? There are, I can say there are four oxygens are there. So four times, what is the atomic weight of one oxygen atom? So you can see atomic weight of one oxygen atom here, you can find it that is 16. So four times 16, that gives us what? Uh, 64. So add up them all together, that gives us the atomic uh, or I can say molecular weight or we can say molecular formula weight that is all we can say just add them all 2 plus 32 is 34 34 plus 64 4 plus 4 is gonna be 8 3 plus 4 it's gonna be what we gonna say uh, uh sorry 3 plus 6 not 4 3 plus 6 it's gonna be 9 after all no need of getting confused you can make use of calculator okay so here we are getting it as formula weight of sulfuric acid is 98 and that is one of the option available for us to choose it option c so this is the way of calculating whichever the element they give just identify how many atoms of that particular element multiply with their weight and add up them that's what it is let's take one more example this is what we uh, commonly that like you know we use in our day-to-day -day life formula weight of water is so they haven't given me what is the molecular formula for water but i need to know because it's like as being we are like you know reached to this level then definitely we will be knowing what is the uh, molecular weight uh, or molecular formula for water so that is we generally write it as h2o so water molecule composes of two hydrogen and one oxygen so while calculating the formula weight of it I know there are two hydrogens. I can write it as two and atomic weight of hydrogen is going to be as just we mentioned one. So we can write it as a total is going to be two. And similarly, there is one oxygen atom in that. So one atomic weight of oxygen, just we saw it as 16. That is gives me 16. So total, what will be the formula weight of water molecule then? Two plus 16, 18. So I'll be going here with the option d so these are the common ways of asking question when it comes in terms of calculation they involve the basics calculations don't go like in a much deeper but you should of course if you are aiming like very high score they might take you to the like you know till last extent but to just in that case you have to be very clear with your foundations and all and these are the basic steps what you need to know so that's it for today. In the next video, I'll try to come up with the new topics related to this. See you guys then. Thank you so much.